if you like biking, this is also your day. Today is the eighth annual Winter Ride Your Bike to Work Day. And yes, it is winter, but BCN's Loris Alexander spent time with one father-daughter cyclist tag team who comes out rain or shine, snow or sleet to put the pedal to the pavement. If Goldilocks were a bike commuter, she might never make it to work or school in Lethbridge. Some days would be too hot, other days too cold. Don't be like her. Be like Bob and Abigail Higgins. It's a great uh, workout and physical activity. I don't have to take an hour out of my day and go to the gym. I can get that, uh, get that exercise you know, to and from school. And it's, uh, I think it's a great lesson and, and lifestyle lesson for my daughter to grow up with. Try it. It's always good to try something new. If you ever want to get serious about riding your bike for transportation beyond winter ride your bike to work day, you're going to need the right clothes and an attitude that lets you find happiness in imperfect weather. Winter riding, you know, differs largely in, in comfort. I mean, you, it takes um, the good warm clothing, you know, the, the technical clothing options that we have today and a lot of local retailers specialize in them in the wintertime make uh, outdoor extreme temperatures far more comfortable than most, most imagine. And about that attitude adjustment, that's not just for cyclists. There's lots of great people out there that uh, appreciate and give room and respect and, and add safety to cyclists. And there's, unfortunately, in our city and in, in our part of the world, there's lots that aren't. Do you want to hurt people? Do you want to be a really mean person? If you be a mean person, you'll have a worse life later. Still a skeptic about cycling? Well, this little commuter tells us that biking in the winter is not only possible, it might even make your frigid morning commute a little brighter. Get out there, ride your bikes. You'll be happier once you do. For Bridge City News, I'm Loris Alexander. Wise words to live by.